Well, hurricane season is officially here. So this morning, our Verify team answering a question about the names of storms. Here's Wake Up Charlotte's Carolyn Brock. Question, if a hurricane or tropical storm crosses regions, does it get a new name? Let's verify. Our sources, WCNC Charlotte meteorologist Chris Mulcahy and the World Meteorological Organization, also known as WMO. The WMO classifies 10 different regions. You can see them on your screen. The one we focus on is the region that makes up the Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico, and the North Atlantic region. So what happens if a hurricane or tropical storm crosses a region? As of about 20 years ago, it now keeps its name. So back in 2001, the World Meteorological Organization says no. If a storm crosses from one basin to another, it's going to keep its name. We have two examples of that in the last 12 years, the most recent in 2016. So these are the two examples of at least the closest uh, crossovers that we've seen. So back in 2016, Otto was the first storm to make the full crossover since 1996. However, if a storm starts in one region, falls apart, and then picks back up steam in another region, that's where things are different. So it's going to get a new name if it's just the remnants of a system. And we just saw that with Agatha. So once it's no longer a tropical depression, it just goes to the remnants of whatever that name is. Once that remnant crosses over to a new basin, then it's going to take over under that naming system. The remnants of storms happens more than you think. That's the best chance from going the Pacific over the Atlantic. For instance, we had Grace that changed over to Marty in 2021 and Nana over to Julio in 2020. So we can verify that no, as long as a hurricane or tropical storm doesn't fall apart before it crosses regions, it does not get a new name. With your Verify, I'm Carolyn Brook.